All right, boys and girls, hope you were able to get your handwriting done. We're going to go ahead, and on Friday, there was a sheet of six new tricky words. It looked like this, all right? And we're going to start with just the first three. The first one, can you say this with me? Any. Now, remember, tricky words are words we cannot sound out. We just have to memorize any. Stick your tongue out. The TH is okay. There. And this one, school. We're not going to make the ch sound in the, more, in the middle. School. All right, so these are our three new ones. Say them with me. Any. There. And school, that is a lowercase l there, school. Not going to do a ch sound in the, in the middle. All right, so keep this, and then we'll talk about those other three on a different day. Now, one of the things we've been doing with our old tricky words is we've been pretending to play basketball. We're dribbling the basketball. We're using our imagination as we spell the word, and then we shoot the basket and read the word. All right, so this is number word. Number word four, so we're dribbling, F-O-U-R, pretend to shoot that basketball and say four. Number word four, good job. Keep that basketball there, you'll need it. S-A-Y-S, shoot it and say says. Mom says, Dad says, shoot that. We see that a lot in our reader, don't we, boys and girls? Another word makes a W sound at the beginning. W, w A, N, T, want, want. All right, we just have to memorize that. We do hear the W and the T, lowercase t there, want. But listen to those sounds in the middle. All right, keep dribbling. A, L, L, all. Now those are lowercase. We do make one sound, all, and T, O, two. And this is we like to play outside, go to play outside, all right? T, O. That is another tricky word. We had T-W-O, the number word too, but this is T-O. All, want, says, four, and two. All right, shoot those baskets and make that swish sound when you make that basket. All right, good job, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and we're looking at our reader. We started this yesterday. I can read well it's book one and when we read it we noticed we had some more stories we read gail wake up we read the blue cap safe on the hill all right so today we're going to look at page six all right if you look at this picture, I bet you can figure out what meal they're probably getting ready to have. What does that look like? Looks like breakfast to me. Give me a thumbs up if you like to eat eggs for breakfast. All right. Looks delicious, doesn't it? All right. The title is called The Egg. Now, if you've already marked the vowels, that's fine. If you didn't need to mark the vowels, that's fine too. But make sure you have your pointer if you need it. And stay with us as we read, okay? We want to be reading nice and loud so that make sure you can hear yourself say those words. See the egg in the pan. Dad set the lid on the pan. The lid will keep the egg hot. I will eat the egg 
on a bun. I can not eat five buns. All right, boys and girls, what was in the pan? Yeah, should say an egg. And what's he going to eat with the egg? All right, he's eating a bun. He's kind of making a, a sandwich out of it, isn't it? Look at that. I cannot eat five buns. Boys and girls, could you eat five buns? I think we'd have a tummy ache if we did that. All right, so hopefully you're able to read through that nice and quickly, sounding out those words, a couple of tricky words on there that you should know already. All right, now let's look at page seven. That is a crazy picture. Look at those boys. Who are they giving a bath in this picture? Wow, that is crazy. Have you ever given a pig a bath, boys and girls? That is something I sure have not done. I give Maggie a bath, but not a pig. So that looks pretty silly, those boys giving a pig a bath. Let's see what they're doing here. Clean the pig. They sure are cleaning him up, aren't they? All right. I see a fat pig. Get the big pig, Gabe. All right, that's a new name we haven't had. G, G, long A, exclamation point there. Get the big pig, Gabe. Get him in the tub. I got a rag. I got the pine soap. I made the pig wet. Gabe and I made the pig clean. All right. So we know one of the boy's name is what? We know Gabe. Like I said, that was a new name we hadn't had in our reader before. What did Gabe do with the pig? Yeah, put him in the tub. Why do you think they had to give a pig a bath? Any ideas besides that? I know he would have been dirty, but my goodness, that would have been crazy to try to give a pig a bath. You think that'd be fun or kind of crazy? All right. Now, page eight has some words. We'll read through those a different time. I want to go ahead right now and go through and read the story. Okay, the story on page nine. And we see, what is that up there? Should say an airplane. What color is it, boys and girls? It is, it's blue. It's even that, they use that word in our title. The blue pl plane. There's that PL blend, long A, magic E, the blue plane. All right, so everybody give yourself a finger clap. You've been doing a great job reading. And we're going to continue reading on page nine. Dad's plane is late. Zach and mom wait and wait and wait. Now, boys and girls, you probably noticed there was no period or mark at the end. The sentence goes down here and wait. So don't quit reading here. The sentence goes down here to the period. Zach and mom wait and wait and wait. And then there's the period. All right. I see a big blue plane, says Zach. And I see dad says mom dad got off the plane and gave zach and mom a hug all right we didn't see mom dad or zach in this story today boys and girls but we see their names mentioned again z z zach zach new name we hadn't had before. 
We had this tricky word. We already said that one earlier today. Says, we shot baskets. S-A-Y-S, -S, says. And then, of course, we already talked about pl P L. All right. Great job reading. Those were three um, stories in our reader today. Tomorrow, we're going to read some more of those, boys and girls. If you've already gone ahead and read, that's awesome. If you're still working on back here and practicing, that's okay, too. Just make sure you're reading them. You're reading them in your head. You're reading them out loud to somebody so you can hear those sounds, all right? You can always take turns reading. Mom can read a page. You can read a page. Or even take turns on the, um, on the page. Maybe you read a line. Mommy or Daddy read a line. You can read a line just to mix it up a little bit. Just keep that practicing on your reader. All right. Now, on yesterday, we did the front of this. We did not do the back because the back was going to be pretty big project there. There is going to be a lot of reading. There's a lot of circling special sounds. There's a lot of marking the words, boys and girls. And there's also a color code up here. All right. So this paper has like three things to do on it. So you want to take your time. You're going to circle the special sounds. Now, special sounds are your blends and your digraphs. Mom and Dad, that would be the blah, the club, the snub, the, the TH, the WH. All those different sounds, those are special sounds. Marking the vowels, that's two things. And reading the words before you get to do all the fun coloring. All right? So if I was going to do this one, bruh, bruh. BR is my special sound. Bra eyed is long I, magic E. Bride. See how I did that? And then after I read all of them, I would go over here. Br bride is going to be what color, boys and girls? Br br. It's blue. Remember? Cl. St. Br. Fr. Gr. Color code. Red, yellow, blue brown, and purple. And then we'll have a nice pretty picture we can see. But there are a lot of words on there, boys and girls. Lots of circling of special sounds. Lots of um, vowels to mark. Okay, so let's make sure we do that nice and neatly. Okay, go ahead and work on that. And then uh, when you're done with that, we're going to move on and we're going to need that spatula. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our papers yesterday, those math papers where we colored them brown. I asked you to go ahead and color them brown and cut them out. All right, we're going to look at that next. <laughs> 